thank you to the Office of Alumni Relations for inviting me to speak today about one of Montclair State University's newest academic initiatives. Uh, and it is a large undertaking, and we're very excited to be part of this landmark initiation of University College. University College launched in July of 2018, and our mission is to support pre-major or undeclared students in their exploration of the academic opportunities here on campus. And we do that through academic advising, focused programming, and collaborations with career services. In the fall, our first inaugural group of University College students totaled 2,088, 1,075 of those students were brand new freshmen here on Montclair's campus. And one of the things that makes University College unique is that we do not have alumni. Uh, so because students have to declare a major at Montclair State University be by before they hit 60 credits, our students are all freshmen and sophomores. However, in talking to the alumni and parents uh, that we interface with, one of the things that we consistently hear is they wish they had something like University College when they were in college. When you're 18, 19 years old, um, you're starting in a brand new college environment. You're transitioning. You're learning the ropes. You're learning about yourself. It's totally OK and totally normal not to know what you want to do with the rest of your life. And that's where University College comes in, and that's where we're hoping to make a positive impact on our student population for those students who come in undeclared. This is the University College professional team. We have a professional team of 15 staff members. Almost all of them are MSU, have been here for a long time, or actually started in August. I started with Montclair State University in July, excuse me, in May, and we launched in July our dean and Associate Provost of Undergraduate Education, Dr. David Hood, started in July as well. And the rest of our team came on board in August. Some interesting facts about the University College professional staff. We have two MSU alums in our group. Four have been first-generation college students themselves. Three were undeclared in their own college experience. And two are proud EOF graduates. So we feel that our focused team is really well situated to help support and motivate our undeclared pre-major student population. So we provide pre-major students through University College a focused, transformative experience. The way that we do that is through several initiatives. We have discovery tracks. So when a student is admitted into University College through admissions, they identified a broad area of interest. We have six discovery tracks. Uh, for example, we have health, wellness, and medicine, management and innovation, arts, design, and culture. So students, while they may not feel ready to identify a major um, academically, we ask that they do identify a broad area of interest. And that helps us provide focused programming, um, developmental advising, as well as help set up a schedule for them for their first semester, which we hope will feed into their interests and their strengths. We create a sense of belonging for our students in several ways. Not only are we helping them make an informed decision about their um, academic path here at Montclair State, but we are also helping integrate and helping them transition into college life. We do that through our new student seminar which is uh, taught by our professional advising staff, as well as a focused group of adjuncts. All of our new student seminar for university college students, even if it's not taught by one of our advisors, it is linked to one of our advisors. So an advisor is responsible for all of the students in that one class. So it's an opportunity for us to develop relationships early on. Um, and to help students transition into their freshman year and, and beyond. We also collaborate very closely with the other colleges and schools on campus. Some of the ways we do that is we have liaisons, both on our programming and our academic advising side. And we, that helps connect students with new programs, opportunities that are coming up. 
Um, and that way we can accurately keep students up to date on all the opportunities that are available to them. We offer proactive academic advising. Um, and what I mean by that is we are not reactionary within university college. So we really try to encourage students to start developing a relationship with their academic advisor, not just when they need to change their schedule or when they need a PIN number for registration purposes. We want them to develop that relationship so this is someone that they know that they can come and talk to, someone that they trust, and this academic advisor will be with them for the entirety of their time at University College. We also try to meet our students where they are. Rather than just wait for them to come into our office, which students often, especially if you're a freshman, might not know where to find us, might feel intimidated, might not know the right person to go to, we have um, gone into the residence halls, we've gone into the student center, um, we are talking about, during peak periods of registration, riding the shuttle bus on campus to really put our advisors front and center to where the students are to break down some of those potential barriers that might exist. And we also offer academic programming specifically focused on helping students connect to all the different majors here on campus, as well as student groups and organizations that help lead them to internships and career opportunities. Um, one of the biggest promotions that we did and programs that we did for our first fall semester was Academic Exploration Week, where we offered over 25 different programs in a four-day period. And those programs included um, intimate meet and greets with faculty from different departments. It included um, interactive sessions like Physics in Action, which connected students to fun opportunities within the College of Science and Mathematics. Within Academic Exploration Week, we also had our, um, one of our most exciting programs called Crash a Class. This is an opportunity that has never been made available to current students on Montclair State's campus. And this is where students can register to sit in on a class during a specific week. And we had over 100 sections of classes available to students. And this is an opportunity for students to actually sit in the seat and experience what it's like to be in that course. Um, many of the classes that we made available for Crash A class would not have been available to them as an elective because they came out of restricted majors. Um, so it was extremely popular. We had a wonderful faculty response to that, and it's something that we're going to be offering again um, this spring. So um, as we enter our, and we're already midway through, our second um, semester uh, for University College, we are continuing with the crash of class. We also have um, to parallel what we did in the fall with Academic Exploration Week. We are also offering Major Madness, which is a riff on the March Madness for NCAA sports, uh, where we are offering major showcases for all the different colleges and schools on campus. So um, using a bracket kind of situation, we are helping students get information on different majors on campus and allowing them to hone in on those majors that are of interest to them. Um, and we are running that through the entire month of March. And the capstone of that event is going to be signing day, which is our major declaration celebration. Uh, and we look forward to having this event at the, towards the end of every academic year through University College, which is an opportunity for us and our campus partners to celebrate those students who have successfully declared their major between the fall and the spring. Um, so their first academic year on campus. And right now, we are very excited um, because we have 25% of our fall group who have successfully declared their major. Some upcoming initiatives. Um, one of the important aspects of University College, in addition to um, the support that we're providing pre-major students, is um, where we're situated in terms of the campus on a whole. So um, our dean is also the Associate Provost of Undergraduate Education here at Montclair State. And the reason that we, he has that dual role is with the initiation of University College, we are offering all of these supports for this population of students. And then once they declare, we want to make sure that the college or the school that they declare into, the support um, and the programs that are made available to them, the advising, is reflective of what they've experienced um, in University College. So, to that end, we are campus-wide reviewing our academic advising structure. We are providing focused professional development for all of the advising staff, the other colleges and schools, 
have um, had an opportunity to increase their advising resources, and University College is really spearheading um, our efforts in order to ensure that advising across all the colleges um, is reflecting a similar philosophy. We are implementing Navigate, which is an advising and analytics platform, and that's going to go live in the fall, and that's an opportunity for um, faculty, staff, and students to be utilizing a platform that will ensure that any kind of barriers that exist towards a student progressing successfully through their major um, will be eliminated through more productive and effective cross-communication across campus. And finally, we are redesigning our new student seminar. Um, so again, now that all the colleges and schools are looking at how they are supporting their students as freshmen, we are finding that that new student seminar is the most important piece. So we are very excited about all the things that we have coming up, all the things that we have achieved in, as we close out our first academic year. And thank you again for inviting us to share these wonderful outcomes.